your girl Miranda. This is your boy Ant. And together we are the, the Watts fam. fam. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And we... Oh, that was it. Yeah, that's it. So we're about to do this. Um, of course, everyone should know by now. The International Slap. <laughs> <laughs> the International Slap by Mr. Will and Mr. Will Smith uh, versus Mr. Chris Rock. Um, and so we're just going to do a quick reaction on it because it's just a lot to unpack. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just, it's just no way I couldn't, or we couldn't just at least put our little two cents. Now, not that it matters, but just put our little two cents in. So let's jump right into it. You know who got the hardest job tonight? Harvey Ab Goddamn and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith plans like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane, too. Can't wait to see it. Alright? <laughs> Okay. So I'm out here. He was laughing at first. I don't know. I still think he was from the first joke. <clears throat> well, I'm saying go go back. Can we go back? Can we rewind real quick? So I don't I, I didn't know that he I'm I thought here. he wasn't laughing oh, at the joke. Richard <laughs> Lord. See, he's laughing at that joke. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? He started laughing again. See? <laughs> he started laughing again, it's, though. That was, that was a nice one. Okay. <laughs> what you think, bro? I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of it. <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to. Look at your face right here, bro. <laughs> That's how they look. Okay. Okay. He's face face. He don't know <laughs> what to do. Like greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's embarrassing. First of all. <laughs> Go back, bro. That is that is embarrassing, but go back, man. He Let's just break down the video win. first and then I should take on him. Was he laughing at the joke? I don't know. I can't tell. I mean, I can tell, but I can't. Like, it seemed like to me he was still laughing. You can laughing. tell, but you can't. It's Girl's like. Second laugh. I mean, I just he feel like he was la laughing. already laughing at the first joke. You know how sometimes somebody say a joke and you still be laughing and you still laughing going into the second joke? You get what I'm saying? I mean, I do, but he. he Will Smith plans like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? Then he laughed again, he was clapped. Oh, she ain't like, see how she rolling Yeah, she mad. Okay, but again, so my opinion is. So now I see what everybody else is seeing, though. I, I just, but yeah, I ain't changed your opinion. Go ahead. When I first seen it, I thought maybe he was still laughing at the first joke. You know, I sometimes you keep on laughing thing. at something and then the second joke coming, but you're still on the half from the first one. So that's what I thought. Looking at it again, yeah, it do look like he was laughing at the joke. However, I don't know. I feel like some people, like when we was talking about it, you can laugh out of anger at something. Like somebody was talking about me, I'd be like, ha, 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 that's funny. And so maybe that's what it was. Like he was he was telling the joke and he was like, <laughs> but on the inside, he's so pissed off that he said it. It's like I'm finna go up here. I you mean, know, have you ever had that that moment where I somebody don't. said something about you and you be laughing like <laughs> that's funny, but then clap, you be like bro. I don't clap. It's and it's still more so an uncomfortable laugh more than a genuine. That look like a genuine laugh. 
I don't know. It look gene, it look the clout look gene pretty genuine to me. I'm just saying. I know he, I, know he, I know he's an actor. I know. I mean, just, but just looking at it, to me, it looked like a genuine laugh. Like, Cause I know I don't fake laugh a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't funny. Too, you know, but you can, you you would think that okay. Mm, I mean, it's kind of like <laughs> it ain't like no. But think about it. He said in his speech, he said, "I have had to endure so much as a person, as a celebrity, as a public figure." So he's probably learned to laugh stuff off, even though it ain't funny. Maybe that's just what he was doing. Like we can't, we can't clarify without him coming out and saying, no, we can't. you know, that that's we what can't. he was I mean, doing. We can't. So it's only like a look like it. situation. I get it. Like to us of how we think it is. I don't say that was genuine ass laugh. It might have yeah. been. But it might have been. But he got to. But we you can't know? prove it. But I'm going with that. Nah, was and then laugh. you know, I don't like to speak on other people's relationship anyway. So I'm just going to breaking down the video. I'm just looking at the video at this point. I'm gonna go yeah. back and put my two cents on how I feel about the whole situation in a second. But I just wanted to break down. People's facial expressions, <laughs> cause some of this job is hilarious, bro. <laughs> that was a that was a nice one. Okay. So, bro. And then the that just oh, that's so cringy though. At this point. Do you not know he getting ready to file you, brother? Like, oh, yeah, like, you definitely like, know. Like, I don't know why he was just standing there. I don't know why he was just with his hands behind his bed. Like, he didn't. Oh, uh -oh. Right, like, he was just, you knew that you was expecting to get smacked. Like, why was you not, like, prepared? Ooh. I don't understand why you just stood there. And I'm talking rock. <laughs> Stand like, there. Like, to me. Like, you just standing there like this. Just waiting to get smacked. Like, and these must whoa, whoa, whoa. Here you go, whoa. Look at that face, bro. Look at yeah. that face, bro. Like, what's he doing? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, why it makes so much noise? And why is, why, why he why smack him like that? <laughs> bro, it's like he just said, I challenge you to a duel. And then he's like, <sighs> Dang, look at his hand. <laughs> Look at Chris, bro. Oh, that silly guy, name of thy sponsor, or however them people be saying. Mm -mm. Let me just see that one more time, just all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Shit right there. <laughs> what he did have his plan. Man, he walked off and said like nothing, like nothing happened. Bro, like Smith just smacked the shit out of it. He did. Lick my snake out your fucking mouth. Wow. Hold <laughs> on, no, 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 let me go back. She is so, she she is so pretty. <laughs> When I started being like, okay, he for real. Look at, yeah. the, white, look at the white lady back here. Yeah. <laughs> She's. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a GI Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. Look how awkward it's okay. look how awkwardly silent it is, bro. It's so awkward. Greatest silent. night in the history of television. Indeed okay. it was. You never seen nobody get slapped okay. on the And I think that laugh was think, more wait, like a let's laugh to kind of That's like he, like but you can look at his face through the rest happened. of it, bro. Oh man, I thought he was gonna show the rest of it. But bro, if you look at his face through the rest of that jump, it was so awkward, bro. Alright, so how you feel about it? How you feel? What, what's, what's your take on this? Will Smith right? He wrong? Shouldn't have slapped him. Shouldn't have slapped him. What's, how you feel about it, bro? Like, what's your, what's your, how you feeling about it? Oh, you want me to go first? Bro? I mean, I can say how I feel. First of all, I don't like, I don't comment on other people's relationships. That's, that's the first thing. So. But I, I, but I was going to. I was just gonna say, as a married couple, I want to speak on this. I mean, I heard a lot of single people giving their opinions. So, 
excuse me. I understand that part. I'm just putting a disclaimer out there. Oh, yeah. When it comes to videos we don't and, care about nobody's life. and reaction videos or whatever, I don't care about what nobody else got going on, but what I got going on. That's the first problem. I mean, that's the first thing. Second of all, I don't speak on nobody in a relationship unless it's mine because what y'all got going on ain't got nothing to do with me. And I got my own issues. <laughs> um, thirdly, with the whole situation, I feel like if you're not a married person, I don't necessarily want to hear your comment on, <laughs> on what you need to, what you got to say about these because these are married people we talking about and at the end of the day this is a whole different community when you marry and when you're single so I don't want to hear the single fuck opinion especially the ones who who ain't it ain't no common sense behind what you're saying I'm just gonna say that if it's just ignorant because a lot of people who ain't married had a lot of ignorant stuff to say about it. And there's some that didn't have a lot to say about it, so let me say that. Um, my opinion on it, I don't agree with what he did or how he handled it. However, I do understand why he did it and why he chose to do what he did. I don't think it makes it right, but I think that he, he has withheld a lot of restraint from speaking publicly on their relationship and probably how he feel his feelings his emotions from just everything because it's been years of i guess with turmoil and you know blogs it's been years of people telling him about their relationship you know their relationship this their relationship that the other disclaimer is i get that they put their relationship out in the public for people to see that so you got to be able to take what you put out and what people say but at the same time, we are human, and I understand as a celebrity, as a public figure, as an entrepreneur, as a human being, we still, we're, we're still flesh. We still feel, we still have emotions, we still, um, we still get bothered by certain things, and True. words hurt. True. True. So, on national television, you're talking <laughs> about my wife, this ain't the first time, this ain't the first encounter. And then you make a, a joke about a medical condition that she had. I get that comedians make jokes on people all the time. I understand it. However, the medical jokes, I think, should be off limits. As a woman, I know what it feels like to have my hair falling out. Because I got thyroid issues. So it's hair all over our house from my hair falling out. I know what that makes me feel like. My hair is thin. You know, I've done got a little, I had bald spots on my edges before I figured out how to get my hair to grow back. So I can only imagine what that feels like as a woman to have a medical condition and then your hair falling out. Just like a, a cancer patient, you know, your hair is something that's of you. And I know people say that you shouldn't, you shouldn't let things or hair or whatever, you know, in your body, um, make you who you are but sometimes that is just what it is it makes you who you are you feel like it makes you who you are so he to me was wrong for making a joke about a serious medical condition and i feel like men always and i'm saying men in general always have a say so i feel like in a woman's hair or their 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 hair journey you know they don't want no woman that's bald they don't want no woman that's this they don't want no woman that's that but you don't know what kind of condition she might have and so for her, if she's dealing with a medical condition that she's already insecure about, you make a joke about that, I don't find that funny. So I think I think he was wrong for that. And if, if he is a so-called family friend, like everybody is saying, I think he's definitely wrong for that. Because at that point, you crossed the boundary. And then even just outside of that, if you wasn't a friend, that, that should just be off limits. You don't talk about nobody medical condition and you don't talk about nobody wife, bro. Like that's just period. Like that's that's just a boundary when it, within itself. So I feel like he was wrong for doing it. As a comedian, yes, you do joke on people. Medical jokes should be off limits. As a general statement, I think you can make jokes about it, but don't don't singly target somebody. Like you singly targeted her. You didn't say people in general. You literally said GI Jane. And y'all know GI Jane look like I put on the screen. Like that was an insult. To me, that was an insult. And I think that people, <clears throat> excuse me, people keep on saying, he's a comedian, he's a comedian. You should be able to take those kind of jokes. 
And I know I can't compare him to Dave Chappelle, like I was telling you. But I feel like Dave Chappelle, I love the way his his um Delivery. his yeah, his comedy um what what do you call it? His his comedy acts are set up because they're more like lessons. Like they teach you something. They make you think deeply about stuff. And when he says stuff, it ain't necessarily like he's trying to attack you. It's like he's trying to make you aware of something. Versus this, this seems like a personal attack to me. It didn't seem like a general thing. You get what I'm saying? Like he literally said. I don't know if I agree with personal attack. So how is it not personal if he said G.I. Jane, you know. You so know what I'm saying? That's personal. I mean, the reason I say I don't think it was personal because I don't think he knew that she had alopecia and said, I'm going to say this joke anyway. I so do we, is it confirmed that he didn't know? Because we don't know that. I don't know, but I'm just saying what I have. I'm just saying what I think. I don't think... I know Chris Rock can be an asshole. I just don't know. I just don't know if he's that big. Now, if it come out and I'm wrong, I'll just be like, okay, well, I guess I was wrong about that. Mm -hmm. But I just don't think he's that big of an asshole to know that she has a medical condition. And then purposely go out and say that joke. But if you're a friend, if you're a friend, know, then right? he should know. Now, if so, you're a friend, he should know. I will say that. Now, and we don't know that. That's why I say it's we, a lot of it's a lot confirm, of unanswered. We can't confirm. We this, can't so. confirm if he was a friend. If he a friend in that. But However, yeah. in a lot of the speeches or a lot of the apologies, it said family friend. So I don't know if that's accurate or not. So that's one thing you we need that would have to be answered. Was he a friend in that? Because if he was, he wrong. Secondly, did he or did he not know that she was dealing with those issues? That's another question that I would, that I would like to know if, if I was in front of him. Did you or did you not know? A lot of people say it's hard for you not to know. However, we didn't know. I, did, I had no idea. I don't watch I don't like celebrities. I don't keep up with what they got going on. Right. So I didn't know she had a documentary until your sister said anything. something. I didn't know she came out about it. Like I had no clue until. This video came out about the slapping, and then it was like she got an issue. <laughs> <I was slapping. laughs> and then she it's like she got an issue. I didn't know. And so it, for a celebrity, it's almost kind of like hard for you not to know. But I can see why you probably might not have known. You get what I'm saying? Because as a celebrity, I would think you're probably not in your phone all the time. You're probably not wanting to be in the public eye all the time because you want to shut off. Yeah. So that that would be my two questions. I don't think he was wrong for defending his wife, no. I think the way he handled it, yes, I don't agree with, I mean, I don't agree with it, but do I understand why he did it? Yes, I also understand he's human and he's flesh and he has feelings. So I'm not gonna take that away from how he reacted because there, I can't say I wouldn't have did the same thing. So you, I mean, you pretty much saying what I was gonna say. I mean, as a, as a married man, I'm not gonna say that I would have slapped Chris Rock <laughs> in that moment. Cause first of all, it's very few things that's worse. We were talking about this, there's very few things that's worse than slapping a man. It ain't too many things that's worse than that. You don't slap a man, bro. In the words of Charlie Murphy, <laughs> when they when, even when slapping was fashionable back then in the medieval days, they was run up slap somebody and then say, I challenge you to a duel. They had a gunfight after that. Somebody somebody had to leave. Somebody had to get up out of here, bro. So I don't condone him going up to slap him in the middle of that, in that moment. Now hollering at him after the show or like, like verbalizing, hey, like I ain't like that. I'm just showing a facial expression that mm -hmm. let him know that that wasn't cool. I think that could have worked, but I can't tell him how to feel in that moment because Chris Rock should know if he grew up anything like I grew up, you can't talk about anybody's girl or wife, period. Mm -hmm. Like you it ain't even no it ain't even no words need to be exchanged once you do. You should automatically know you need to square up after that. Obviously. I mean I'm just saying like and That's I true. and I know everybody doesn't handle it like that, but I feel like you should know that Probably That's getting, a boundary. Probably getting slapped, the shit slapped out of you might possibly happen if you say something about somebody, girl or wife. That's a boundary. And I think that he should stay on script. Like, I don't think the Oscars wrote that in the script. So, now, like, while you trying to be funny, yeah. like, it didn't come off as funny. Stick to your script. Now, if you go to the 85 South show, yeah, you or something know like for that. a fact that they finna pick you out of the crowd. And this, their whole setup is based on talking about people in the crowd. 
and and it's really like a you know they ruthless over there like they don't they don't hold no punches over there like don't go to that show but at the oscars i just wouldn't expect at the who the oscars oh, I, I said the oscars. i said at the oscars i wouldn't expect i guess that joke to be made about somebody's hair yeah, I don't think I would have made that joke. Now, I think it was especially inappropriate. Especially not about a woman like being bald, because women are very, very sensitive about their hair, bro. Like especially. I mean, a black woman in general is already <laughs> sensitive, sensitive about, about a hair, lot. Bro. I mean, think about how everybody already looks at us, how they view us. We can't wear our hair a certain way. We're, we can be considered unprofessional. Like it's a lot of you know things that are put on wom women in general already as a black woman. So yeah. why would you even want to tear a black woman down? And we got this whole you know, structure about, you know, black women can't get along and black men always doing this to women and doing all that. It's like, you just proved that point that you putting a black woman down pretty much on national television. You know, so you just kind of made think, all of that. I think people need to hold. Who like true? I think people need to hold Chris just as accountable as they hold Will. Oh, like, I'm, I'm not saying either one of them. Definitely. I'm not saying Will was right 100%. No, he was All I'm saying is like, kind of like she said, I get it. I get you know it. I mean? Yeah, because I, I, I can't it, say I wouldn't have like, reacted the same way. I get it. I get it. it. I've been in situations like to where somebody may have done something to Mirage or maybe said something to I was just like, it wasn't really no talking. You know what I mean? But I, I think, get it. I get it. You know what I mean? And I think that Will Smith is definitely like, he's going to have his you know, consequences behind what he did because, I mean, they weren't, that was, that was embarrassing. It was cringy and it was embarrassing, you know what I mean? But I can't, again, I can't judge this guy, man, like, because <laughs> he's, like, he's been through so much. Oh, I know what I want to address. I've been seeing a lot of people saying that where was he at or where was she at when all this entanglement, she was in entanglements and all of this stuff, and why he ain't pull up on August Alcina like that. First of all, we don't know, him and August Alcina don't have no legally binding agreement that they supposed to be together mm -hmm. for the rest of their life. I don't know what him and her talked about through all of that, but he ain't got no reason to just August Alcina. <laughs> Cause ultimately at the end of the day, Jada had to do whatever she had. And she's the one that broke the agreement, not August Alcina. He don't owe him, he don't, August Alcina don't owe Will Smith nothing. Whatever Will and Jada talked about, they got them to the point to where they they able to function and as a husband and wife again. I don't know what they did, don't care what they did, but I just need everybody to understand. It, it, it he has nothing to say to August Alcina. And sometimes in a marriage, Mariah may be having some off days or off weeks, or she may do something to embarrass me. But that's where my grace and my and that's where my love is supposed to come in and cover her that's how our marriage is set up anyway i know you ain't gonna always be right i know i ain't gonna always be having the best day but i know she got me on them days that i can't hold it together even if it is embarrassing sometimes so he don't always that same thing that's just 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 people just please stop saying that i think it's more simple than that like, like coming up my parents just always told me if something happened between your spouse and another female, you need to go out to your spouse, not the female. It's just that simple. Will and Jada got their own agreement. Whatever they got going on between the agreement is their agreement. Whatever he don't owe nothing to August Alcina. What he owes is to his wife. That's it. So his <laughs> wife decided to do whatever she decided to do. And that's between that up, that's between him and his wife. That ain't between Alcina. However, beyond that point, Alcina has nothing to do with the Oscars. And I'm nothing saying and I'm it. saying nothing to do with it on the on the basis of let's talk about the slapping and <laughs> what he said and not what happened in the past. No. So that that might have some that might have something to do with his anger built up. No, I, I do believe that. We're talking about the slapping. The anger and all of that yeah, and so the stop bringing up the entanglement and our scene stuff. Let's worry about this, the Oscars and why he went up there and smacked him. I don't think he smacked I, again, I don't think he smacked Chris just because of Chris. I think it was a lot of stuff built up, and Chris probably was the one that put Cherry on top. He could have. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta think this man has literally been sent back for what? Ever since when? How long ago did that in time? I don't know. Come out? I don't However long. And he really ain't said nothing. He ain't said nothing to nobody. He ain't tried to defend her. He ain't said nothing, bro. He just sat back and just 
let it build up. And he got to a point, I guess it was enough was enough. Or he made it see her face and was just like, okay, you know what? I can't sit back and watch this. I think I don't that's know. what it had to do with her face. Yeah, had a lot to do with it. But again, we're talking about the slap and August Alcina. That are two different things. So yes, it might have been a build up. But the build up, I feel like, could have been based on I what think it was everybody. That. I think it's because everybody been talking about her memes and stuff. Yeah, and, 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 like and, and probably, you know, and it could have been. So I mean, who knows? Nah, they did. Nah, I'm not taking up for them. I'm not saying that we people should be talking about it. Because again, what you put out and what you let people see is kind of your fault. So mm -hmm. all the stuff that they letting everybody see to give people an opportunity to judge, I mean, it's kind of their fault. But at the same time, I do you still can be angry about that. That's yeah. about people talking about. And it. everybody don't have an opinion of like who are we to judge? Because I know mm -hmm. I'm not the person. I don't know. I, I you know who am I to judge? Like know. you do what you didn't do in your relationship, and what makes y'all happy it ain't got nothing to do with me. You know, yeah, I but just I, feel like Chris needs to be held accountable. Also. I think so too, and I think a lot of people need to stop saying, "Oh yeah, you know, will, 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 will." It's just a joke, 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 joke. It's like no, don't put our black women down. Y'all keep talking about, you know, uphold our our black women, uplift our black women. That was a perfect example right then and there of how you can degrade a black woman. Like simple as that. Over oh, something as simple as a medical condition, you just degraded her. On so many levels it on sucks, national it television, sucks, that, that and that is such that that was nah, so was like very, low that to me. So... That was so low to me. Like that was very immature <laughs> to me. Like I would never do that. I'm trying to say, like I get, I'm still somewhat trying to say maybe the time was bad, but I just don't think you just. I don't Stick know. to I your script, bro. That's just what it is. Stick to your and script. And then he had already said something about them in 2016, so that kind of that might, might have had something to do with it too, because you know she boycotted the. Um, or they were trying to boycott the Oscars when Will didn't get nominated for something, or something like that. But he had a little video in 2016 where he said something about them when he was hosting the Oscars. So I don't know. If I don't that know nothing about. Do I don't know nothing about that. I, I didn't know even either. know the Oscars was even it, on. I know I wanted to comment on it, so I wanted to do research to see how much information I could get. When I say I be, I be like absent from this whole celebrity scene. I don't care what these folk got going on. I don't know about this. I didn't even know there was an Oscars until I got on Facebook. And I don't even be on Facebook I like Oscars that. I Got on Facebook <laughs> and then I just scroll and everybody's talking about slapping, 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 slapping. I went the down. First person I, seen? I think I seen Stephen A. Smith saying that Will Smith really just slapped. A lot of people was like, is this <laughs> real? Did he really is just do this? Is it fake? Like, so, I'm like, I know what? One thing, though, I will say this. If Will have slapped me, <laughs> it would have been on. All this, all this shit back there, my, my <laughs> life. <laughs> like in the back of the shit, all that, all that was in the background, bro. All that, all that coming. Now down. I will give it to him for being professional and not smacking or punching him back. I can't give him that one. You got it. No, at I'm this saying point, the, uh, the professionalism is lost. It ain't no, no I agree. Professional no I more. agree. <laughs> professionalism is lost. I do, but it takes two to tango. And yeah, I think that he true. took the higher the yeah. higher route in that situation because he could have punched the bat, he could have slapped the bat, but instead he stood there, and took yeah, it, and then he continued. <laughs> I mean, you you're not walking back to your seat, bro. I'm, I'm I sorry, he's not making it back to your seat. I understand. I might lose. I don't know what's gonna happen, but you're not going directly back to your seat. I get it. I get it. Again, we're talking and about what we think we would have did if you was in that situation. I don't know, like I don't know if I would have, what I would have did. You get what I'm saying? If, if what you would have Will slap you? <laughs> I, I would have smacked Will, him. If Will slapped yeah, you. Yeah, I would have smacked him. I know what I'm doing with somebody. Yeah, you're right. I don't give a damn if it was, wasn't Will Smith. If anybody walked yeah, up right. and slapped me, I, I right, like, that's yeah. immediately, we immediately don't have nothing else to talk about. Like, yeah, you're you right. clearly you didn't come here to talk. Me. You ain't right. come to talk. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And if the professionalism gone because you ruined it, then I'm gonna take it. I, I think so too. Him. He he let it go. However, he decided not to do this. So I think that was big of Chris Rock. Yeah, that was not to that was big, I guess. You know, not to um entertain it, I guess as you should say. Cause that could have been a whole that could have been a whole that could have been worse. A lot it worse should, than it what it was. Yeah, it, it could have been, yeah. But it did. But, I think I still be fighting right now, bro. Like you, just, you just don't slap a man. Like the worst, I guess the the very next thing that's worse than being slapped 
is being spit on. I feel like that's probably the next. That's the only the thing. That's the only thing. Lord is slapping a man. Like that's like to slap a man to open hand or backhand. I think he deserved it. Like, I don't think. I don't think he. I, I get that you shouldn't like smack somebody, spit on somebody, whatever. But however, I think he deserved to be smacked. Like you talking about my wife, bro. Like. I ain't saying he didn't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? It. Like, I'm you deserve to be smacked. And it's based saying, on national television. But Chris Rock, bro, you, you, that's, you've been disrespected at this point. Yeah, you've been you, slapped. He's been slapped. He was disrespected, but he deserved to get his ass slapped. Like that's what I'm saying. He should have got slapped. Seeing you get slapped on the Well, he should have got slapped, in my opinion. He deserved that slap. You could have saved it. I ain't saying he deserves a slap. And, and you, he, that shouldn't even been something that been himself. saved. You shouldn't even say that. Just on period. That shouldn't even been nothing. You has you should have said. You crossed a huge boundary. Cause I'm telling you, if I was if that was me in that seat and somebody said something about you, I'm gonna go by mine. So I would have went up on that stage too. Like that that don't you don't do that. You don't cross no boundary. Stage. I would have called him out the shoulder. I definitely would have had him. I mean, but it's easy to say what you think you would have done when you're not in the situation. Think about it. Mm, because if somebody was disrespecting me on national television, you can't tell me you was going to sit in that seat. Damn, seven, eight hours, have long they sit there. And let somebody disrespect me on national television and you see my face, you see I'm upset and you're not going to say nothing. I'm That's say a flesh. I'm just not going to say nothing. Now, I'm going to say the mindset I have now, I don't have like the exact same mindset I had when I was like 23 up in there. Like the mindset I have now is like, I'm going to get you. But I'm like, I ain't gonna get you right now. See, that ain't me. Like, so, I mean, I was, I was... Somebody need to be Will Smith behind me. I ain't... I'm not about that. So, if you disrespect so me, me on so national me television... So, let me say this, right? Will Smith technically should be should be going to jail for assault right now. So, you cool with me going to or jail. Or battery. Or battery. So, you cool with me going up, slapping somebody and going to jail. Because he really should he really should have been escorted out of the show. But they really gave him a pad. Yeah, he should've been. So we talking about Will Smith right now. We we ain't we he just so happened to be one of the lucky individuals that I guess can get a pass for slapping somebody and then go and sit back down. So think of all the true consequences that come along with that. Yep, I defended your honor and I slapped somebody, but now I'm in jail. Now you love to pick up pieces and all this stuff. But do work. you think, that's what I keep saying, is you keep saying what it? you would do, but you're not in that position, which is why I said people cannot comment on this if they are not in this Listen. situation. Because I done dealt with so much for years. I cannot sit in this seat and let somebody disrespect my wife and I look at her face and she is almost into it. tears. I, I could not do that. I'm, listen, I, I, I get I get the, the raw rah behind it in the jail. I get all that. But sometimes as a human being, you don't think about those consequences because I, you, you no, get Listen, listen, you make it seem like I don't understand where we're coming from. Like you need to relax. I understand. I'm with you. I, like I'm not knocking Will for doing what he did. I'm just saying, me. I'm just a little bit more calculated now. Even in moments like this, I'm a little bit more calculated because, again, you know the situation with Riverbend and all that stuff. That could have went a whole lot different. And it's like, man, with me running up on five people like that, you don't know what could have happened. So me in situations like that, I had to learn from and be like, you know what? That could have ended bad for me. And if with Will, that really should have ended bad for him. He should have been in jail. And I ain't saying that he he don't have a right. I, I get exactly why he did it. I, I understand 100, 1,000% why he did it. But me, I don't. I know I wouldn't do it because I'm a little bit more calculated now in situations like this. Well, God's still working on me, so I'm not gonna so, say I, I'm gonna get it right. I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not saying I wasn't gonna holler at him. I'm gonna holler at him now. Like, I ain't gonna like, say I I'm gonna get it right because right I got and too I'm, much. I got too much stuff. I'm, I got too much. I have a whole family to think about. You know what I mean? So I know that if I do this in this moment, I could be risking like so much. And that's why that's where my mind goes in situations when I want to go off or when I want to act the fool. Mm -hmm. And when I want to put hands on people, it's like I'm gonna get you, but I promise, like I'm, I promise, I'm gonna get you, and I'm gonna holler at you about this, but I, I can't holler at you right now, about it. Mm. cause I can't. I, I like it will be with you in mind. It will be like, man, I know she want me to get up and get on his ass right now, but I just can't do it because I know that I'm gonna end up messing up everything we got going on. I understand. Over this one little incident. I understand. God's still working on me, so I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get it right 100. percent 
every time. So, and if I was in that situation, I'm not gonna say that I wouldn't have got up. However, I think we all wanna be a Beyonce and Jay-Z, but that ain't just what it is. Everybody, everybody can't hold back their tongue. Everybody cannot not respond to comments. Everybody cannot react to anything about people that's saying stuff about them. That's just human being, that's just reality, and that's just, that is just life in general. People get tired of people talking about them, and when somebody do something about it, then it's their fault. Like, nah, that's just not how life works. Leave folk name at your mouth. Period. It ain't, it ain't, Anybody. It ain't everybody. Ain't like, leave, leave. Stop talking fault. about folk, man. Listen, People fault. are tired. They are tired. And I, 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 if that was me, I would be tired too. Like, as a celebrity, I don't even know what they had to deal with, but I can only imagine Dude, I, 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 what they have to encounter. I would be just, you know, I would be just like, I could not. Friend. Like, keep I would be just wife friend. name. Out your mouth. Anybody, if it ain't y'all see, see who the calm and like if who the, it ain't got nothing to do with you, I'm do not angry, speak but on but it. But I'm calculating Period. Angry, as y'all see. If it ain't got nothing to do with you, don't speak on it. That's this just me. Y'all just, just pray that I don't end up in jail over her. I'm just saying, don't speak on it. Y'all see who gonna think rational through situations. No, I can, think, <laughs> I can think rational through situations, but what I'm saying is we are human and we are flesh. Everybody's brain does not calculate like that. Yeah. That's why I said it's. Everybody's not a Jay-Z and Beyonce where they just sit and take stuff and then they don't talk, you know, talk about it publicly. They I'm might not, talk about it at home, but I'm you don't ever see them respond. I you don't ever see them like do that. that. You know what I'm saying? I'm never and so for me, I know I have never went back and forth with somebody on the internet because that stuff don't matter to me unless it's a healthy debate. So, so I get it. So the only way that, so for you for right now, the only way, the best way to handle that situation is to handle it right then, not after the show. I didn't say that was the best way to handle it. I said I have, I'm not in a situation, so I can't say how I would have handled it. Because it's easy to say what you would and wouldn't do if you're not in that seat. You're not in the hot seat. So it's easy for everybody to say, oh, if that was me, I would have did that. Well, if no, that was no. me, I would have handled it better. You don't know what you would have did in that moment, especially given him disrespecting his wife on national television. And then for the condition of what it was, like you cannot, yes. you no, cannot just say. Just because I know what I wouldn't do in that situation, don't mean I can't say because I. No, I'm not saying again, that. Like that, that is that's basically what you're saying. You're saying no, you saying you you're saying if you you you're not in that seat where Will was in, you just said you can't say what you wouldn't do because you're not in that seat. In general, as any anybody who's speaking on this. It is easy to say what you would or wouldn't do if you're not in a situation. That's just like you at the river bend. It would have been easy for me to say, oh, I wouldn't have handled it that way. I wasn't in the hot seat. You was because something happened to me and, and you had to step up. Right. Man. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is with this situation, you wasn't Will Smith. You ain't been in an entanglement. Your wife ain't been with other niggas and legs been open, been all over the news. Even though it's an agreement, it wasn't on the red table top. Like you ain't have to, you ain't have to deal with none of that. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'm, so if you wasn't in that situation, it's hard for you to speak on something that you ain't even in. I understand that. You can what, have an opinion. What I'm saying is, no, but just because I know what I wouldn't do in that situation doesn't mean that I'm knocking Will for what he did. I didn't say you was knocking him. So what I'm saying is, you brought up that real being situation. Situation, right mm -hmm. because I've been in a situation like that before I know that I can't handle situations like that again so for me I 100% do know what I would do in a situation like that mm -hmm. because I've been in similar situations to where it was like I needed to defend Mariah and that was the, and I ain't think about nothing else but just defending you that was that was all out that was all on my mind I was like a horses when they had them blinders on like I was just thinking tunnel vision I ain't think about nothing else, but I've had so many years to think about this situation and everything that could have went wrong that it's like, man, if this situation happened again, I kind of know I can't handle it like this. And I can't I say it. that everybody else has been in a situation to like that or similar to that. And I'm not saying, but for me, like for Chris Rock to just say a joke, regardless of everything we had going on, for him to just say a, a, ta a bad, tasteful joke, there's not enough for me to walk on stage and slap him right then. Now, after the show, I'm probably going to put hands on him after the show. But not right then, not right there in that moment. I can't, I just can't do it. I got too much. I know, I know I've been there before. I've felt this feeling before. Like, I know what, what kind of trouble he could possibly get me in. But I'm going to get you. Just not right now. I ain't going to say that. It's going to be right after the show. And I'm going to holler at you right after, like, directly after the show. That's going to oh, that's gonna be the only thing on my mind after the show is getting to you. Especially if we supposed, you, we supposed to be a family friend or whatever the case may be, like I'm, I'm finna holler at you about it. 
But for me to walk up on stage and slap somebody, I know for a fact I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Don't mean I'm not gonna handle it, but I'm not doing that particular thing. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm saying. Will, well, not, where are my, my Will Smith said? Brother, if y'all out there, leave a comment. What brother, Will Smith said who going, who slacked behind their wife in the moment? We need y'all to comment. So, okay. In the comments. We need y'all to comment. Yeah, if y'all Will, Will Smith, if y'all Will Smith, if y'all Will Smith slap slap in y'all wife in the moment, nobody said don't slap him. We just said <laughs> don't slap him right then. Just wait and slap him. <laughs> nobody said so. You but can, that time, so you can still be a Will Smith and you can still have. But hold on. But that time, the joke over. It don't matter. What? But it don't matter how the nigga. <laughs> I still have to holler at you regardless if it's next week. I'm gonna holler at you about how about getting at my wife. I talking about my wife. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't excuse me. I don't give a shit. What? Is, what? How long <laughs> the joke? Was. So you said excuse me, but I don't care how long the joke was or when the joke happened, nigga. I need to holler at you about that. I feel you. Period. And I so you, it. you just saying no. It need to happen right now. I'm, I'm not saying, saying it don't need to happen. I'm, but I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna get you, but I'm not gonna get you like it. Cause I'm that, not saying the real it niggas right don't move like that. Real niggas ain't like mm -hmm. you, you be you calculate now. You be more calculated about how you move now. I ain't saying. You that. know what I mean? And I know that. I know again. I know we're human. I know he let a bunch build up. But I've been in stuff like that or similar to that. I can't do it no more. I know I know what can happen. Like, Will is blessed to being able to walk back to his seat without being escorted out, without the police coming, without handcuffs, without anything. Chris Rock don't even want to press charges. He blessed. Because, like, even though he did what he was supposed to do, and yeah, he defended his wife, my nigga, you really supposed to be, it's supposed to be a whole lot more consequences behind this slap. So yeah, it made you feel better, but now you gotta actually deal with the consequences from slapping somebody during the Oscars, bro. You gotta deal with that. Like, I did, I'm not saying, saying I don't understand it. So it's like, I, I just don't I understand both sides. I, I, I guess, understand trying to be the mature person and trying to turn the other cheek and not respond to it until I after. I understand I it. I, I understand think it. everybody said he could have handled it better. However, we're human. He's and, a human being, so I understand you, both sides. Looking, if you still looking for Will Smith after all of this, then I you, understand you, both sides. You might well go ahead to the courthouse now and get some stuff. Well, I'm, I'm never gonna do something like that <laughs> in the moment. Now I'm gonna I'm 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 defend you, and I'm gonna do what I gotta do, and I'm gonna holler at who I need to holler. At. But I'm not gonna be no idiot to do nothing like this. I think it's I think that it's right growth. You know, it is again, it is I'm growth. growing, and I'm I'm just not gonna sit here and say that's how I would handle it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm saying I'm not sure knocking you for saying that. It's just me. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm a hundred percent sure. No doubt in my mind. If that was me and you was getting talked about, I was gonna sit in my seat. That just not. I cannot say that. I cannot say oh, that. I would be lying because I don't know what I would do in that Again, moment. Yeah, the only reason I say that because I've had an opinion about situations like this and I've told myself what I would do in situations like this. I know, but that's Plenty again what you're telling yourself, okay. but you're not in the seat. That's what I keep saying, which is why I'm, I'm not saying I disagree with how you're thinking you would have reacted. Listen, I know, On the other side, we just don't know. I know, again, I know what. I'm 100% sure now on what will make me react to me doing something like that. That ain't it. That just that situation. And I, him saying I think like it's that, 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 that. that. That's just not. That's not enough for me to go out there and slap him, especially with him being a comedian. Like I feel like that's his you, job to talk about people. Making I ain't saying. I ain't saying that. But so, but comedians they take stupid risks sometimes. Sometimes it pans out for them. Sometimes it don't. You can't go up there and slap them just because you don't like what they said. Mm -hmm. Like, just holler at them after the show. Like, it's been plenty of times where I heard comedians say they might have said something about somebody and they hit them up afterwards and told them that they ain't like the joke and they probably, and they apologize. Mm -hmm. like, I ain't mean to do that, man. When it didn't, I ain't mean to come off like they, they talked about it. I'm not, again, this is not was it, a, a, was it directed towards that one person though or was it a general joke? No, it might have been a joke about a specific person. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but that person may not have liked the joke that was told. Even if they were sensitive about Even it. Even if, uh, that, but just, if you're sensitive about it, just let them know afterwards. Cause I, like, comedians are gonna say some risky stuff sometimes. Like, that's their job. They gonna, the comedians push boundaries. 
So again, I'm not defending Chris Rock because I don't think he should have said that. But I just like I understand why Will reacted like he acted. I understand what he was trying to do with that joke. It just wasn't a good joke. So what if she would have started crying like right then and there that her feelings was hurt and everything? Then, then, then I would take you backstage and we'll talk about it. But that does not mean I'm not going to holler at Chris Rock about it. I'm still going to holler at him. I'm just asking how you like, feeling. Like, that's I'm how still going to holler at him. Because I know I got medical me, conditions. So if, somebody, if that was me... I feel like I would have been hurt. I, I deal with thyroid I'm issues. Right. And so my thyroid issues, they make my hair fall out. They make me gain weight. So my hair come out in globs. So that's why I'm saying I can only relate to how she feel about being in that situation and your hair thinning or your hair falling out, you not having no hair. Like, but this why that's I, sensitive. I, it is. And that was very insensitive for him to even it make was. that kind of joke. 100% insensitive. I get it. 100%. I still get it. What he was trying to do. The I girl, understand both sides. I still get what well, well, Will slapped him. Don't make it right, but I understand. Don't make it right. I'm saying. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying that I wouldn't be Will Smith. I just but I just wouldn't be that quick of a Will Smith. I'll be, well, I'll be Will Smith slapping him backstage. Like, I'm not going to do that because I just got too much that. It's just too much on the line. Too much to you lose. You think he got too much to lose. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, he blessed to not have had, had nothing happen. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I get that. And I think that. And it's like, I can't just. Be, I just can't be an idiot trying to defend your honor. I got, I still gotta be smart about defending you. I'm gonna defend you, but I gotta be smart about it. I can't, I can't just be a fly off the handle. You know what I mean? That's why I say don't. You can't panic. In all situations, the worst thing you can do, bro, is panic and just and just completely lose your mind. I guess I'm and looking at it too. Forget about everything. No, I get that, and I understand. Like it, it that's why I said it, it could have been a better way to handle it. However, I understand. On the other side of that, you human, you got you you have flesh, so you you react. I'm probably. And I think I think where he is in his life, I mean, I don't know how that money looking. He probably good. Like what he 50 years old. I don't at know. At this point, like I don't know how he is. He probably said if he ain't get no more gigs. He did YouTube for the rest of his life, red type top, whatever. He said, like, he probably still get, he make money in his sleep. So even if he didn't get no more acting job. I mean, that's cool. You get what I'm saying? Like, so. Yeah, that's cool, man. Like. I'm not saying he probably just, didn't think he didn't have nothing to lose, but. I mean, it's just a fact. You, you know, know what I mean? I, like, I don't think. I get it, though. Like, like I'm not saying I don't get it. We're going to eventually move on from all of this. You know, we'll apologize. Chris Rock apologize. But I see you wrong on both. And I just, I, I don't like, ultimately, I just think. He need to be held just as accountable as we. Yeah, most I'm of, looking at it from a know. human standpoint. Forget the celebrity status and all of yep. that. As a human, I'm looking at it from that standpoint on all sides. Mm -hmm. But I understand handling it better. And I understand the reaction of you going up there and smacking somebody. And I understand that you could have not went up there and did it. And I understand that you could have messed up, you know, future deals or your career or whatever the case may be. In. I personally don't think he messed it up. I think that... He might have a damper, maybe, and, you know, somebody want to get him. Put a little asterisk by his career. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> but I don't think that it's going to stop him from getting, you know, right, saying, no jobs or no opportunities. I'm just saying whatever consequences come after this, you just got to, he just got to deal with it. And I think this is just right, drawn out too long. Something. Like, I think that the slapping was the slapping. It happened. Let's move on. That's what I think. I think it's been drawn out way too long. This whole slapping thing, it should have been a slap. Let's discuss right, but, it. But, Let's move on. But like people, that's but, just what it is. I get it, but this is one of the what I say by consequences. Like people talking about it for an extended period of time mm -hmm. is a consequence of you slapping somebody. Bro. I get it. <laughs> so I don't think we would be if he hadn't slapped. I think right now we might have with him winning the Oscar. It may have trickled on the, into him doing stuff and getting people and all of that. But it's like, hold on, he kind of just slapped somebody. So let's just let's just talk about him slapping somebody before we go on and I ain't saying that we need to stay on it I'm with you we need to move on but I feel like this is just a consequence it's what people finna be talking about mm -hmm. like nobody in the history of Oscars has been slept <laughs> in the middle of the show like that, that's never happened before like that's why I'm like it's, it's it's embarrassing like it's shocking like it's I don't, I don't know, it's like, I'm, I'm at a loss for words for, for what, because I never thought I would ever see anything like this, ever. Mm -hmm. I don't even watch shows like this, but I just never thought something like this would grab my attention so much, and I was just like, what I don't the know, I just feel like I... And then who it was, too, like, it's just, it's just, you don't think Will Smith is going to slap somebody, bro, like... Well, he has a history show. of slapping people. 
I mean, not like that, bro. So like, like that, that was a movie slap. That was a. I mean, hey, I'm just saying, you got a history of slapping Chris people. Chris Rock so. is a stunt man for that. Like, <laughs> he got a history of slapping people. That dude does to not me, do his own stunts. You know, I think it's easy to say for me, like what I wouldn't expect, but sometimes just like where we are in this generation, just like I guess the year and how everything has been going with COVID and all that, it's just hard to expect for something just not to happen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel Cause you. Because stuff just. Happens. I get you, you know, but who gonna? But who, I mean, I get what you're that's saying. That's all I mean. If I if I open kill somebody, people are supposed to be like, well, I mean, I get no, it. No, I get it. Yeah, it was kind of that no, was kind of. No, I get it. It's gonna be <laughs> unexpected that you did it, but for him, I mean, he has a history of slapping, so no, it's not really <laughs> uncommon for him to slap somebody. However, it is what it is. Whatever he choose to do with his life, what he choose to do, it ain't putting no money in my pocket, so I honestly do not care. <laughs> to be honest with you, that is your life and your business. And I know it done been publicly put out on the television for everybody to comment and discuss. I do not care. <laughs> and let's just put some money in my pocket and it ain't. So do what you need to do with or uh, it Chris Rock or whomever. I just thought it was, the whole situation was funny. I think it was funny too, you know. Because I'm pretty sure Chris Rock can't taste nothing today. <laughs> <laughs> Day, you meant whatever day it was. Oh, to uh, whatever day it is, he still can't taste nothing. That was two days ago. So, yeah, that's what my comment on y'all. Thanks for watching. Leave y'all comments below on what y'all think of this, the slapping. Who won? Who lost? <laughs> who whooped? Only black people. No, what y'all think about the slapping? There, no, if he lost. was right or wrong. Everybody lost. What, right. what y'all think? What y'all think? Leave y'all comments below. Don't forget to subscribe button. I said that so fast. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Leave us a comment. Until then, watch film signing out. Peace. Slap the post notifications button. <laughs> See what I'm saying? People just, you just stop the camera. I slap the camera.